Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mrs. Emily Paints. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this really, really easy glam with the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries Palette. So if you guys want to learn how to create this really, really simple glam, please stay and watch the rest of this video. Okay guys, so I'm going to be going in with the first shade that I'm using on this palette and it's going to be this shade right here. I'm going to put the names of everything that I use down in the description so make sure you guys check out the brushes that I'm using and the colors that I'm using on my eyes as well. So I'm going to be using this as my first shade on my lid and the reason why I'm only doing one eye is because I'm going to be filming for my Instagram on my other eye. So I'm just going to grab this fluffy brush which is from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe and I'm going to be blending this all over my crease in circular motions and side to side motions. You guys already know the drill. Also, you guys, make sure you apply the least amount of pressure onto your lid because we want this to look smoky and not very harsh. Also, if you guys want the color to intensify, make sure you guys apply small amounts first and then keep building it up so that it gets darker and darker, okay? I've never actually had a palette from Dose of Colors, by the way. And I'm speaking to you guys too because right now I'm on my live stream on TikTok and I'm talking to you guys at the same time. So <laughs> I've never actually purchased anything from Dose of Colors. So this is actually my first palette from them. And so far so good with this eyeshadow color because it's blending perfectly and I don't see any patchiness on there. So that is a good sign so far. It is a challenge to be on my live stream and be recording at the same time for whatever reason. Okay guys, next I'm going to be going in with this other shade right here, which is a little bit darker than the first one. And we're also going to be applying this on our crease. I'm also using a fluffy brush from Jaclyn Hill by Morphe. But let me just tell you guys this easy trick that I usually use because I know that some of these can be very powdery. We're going to grab some of our product and then you might want to keep like a little cup on the side. I have this little glass one where you tap it and then you get rid of that extra eyeshadow powder on there. Because trust me, if you guys do this, you're going to get all that powder all around your area and you do not want to make a mess like that. It's happened to me when I had carpet before and it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying to clean. So now we're going to be applying this darker shade of red onto our lid and in the same area you guys it's going to go on the crease and I'm going to go in side to side motions and windshield motions. You guys already know the drill like I said and we're going to blend that up as best as possible and we're going to take some more product over and over again just to build up the intensity of the shade. Okay guys with the next color we're going to be using it's going to be this one right here this darker one and you guys got to be careful with these reds because they can stain. I personally whenever I do eyeshadow like this I remove it right after I'm done filming because it stains your eyelids. I don't know if those of colors is going to do that to me though because I've never used this brand before but I recommend you do it anyways just in case. Unless you're going out, then yeah, go for it, stain your eyes. <laughs> but if you're not, you should take it off right after or it's hard to film another video. Because I know a lot of makeup artists watch my videos since I've been showing you guys how to film tutorials on my YouTube channel. So, just a quick tip. Remove reds and pinks and oranges because those colors will stain your eyes. Okay you guys, so I'm just going to take this other fluffy brush by Morphe as well. This is the M53, wait no. M573 you guys and like I said I'm gonna be putting everything in the description if you guys want to go and look for these brushes this is a bigger fluffy brush and the reason why I'm using a bigger one is because I'm gonna use this for my lid so I'm gonna be applying this darker shade under my crease and this is just gonna give this a fuller look and remember you guys we're gonna be doing a wing eyeliner after this so i just want like a simple smoky eye i don't want to do nothing crazy no cut creases no none of that stuff um this is like a summary look summary <laughs> cut that cut that piece off <laughs> ignore that part you guys okay you guys so i want like a summer look and i don't want it to be like too dramatic you know the cut crease and everything i don't want my makeup to look too heavy so i am just gonna be tapping this onto my lid to create that smoky eye but not too dramatic and we're gonna be starting our eyeliner right now all right that does it you guys that does it Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing my under eye before I do my eyeliner and I'm going to be going back in with the same fluffy brushes that I used for my lid on my under eye. So I'm going to go back in with the first shade that I used. Like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys in the description which are the names of the colors. 
um so i'm gonna look upwards and i'm just gonna be blending this under my eye really quick obviously i'm not gonna apply too much because i don't want to look like i got socked in the face so <laughs> i'm just gonna blend this slowly side to side i'm gonna apply the least amount that i can though because i don't want it to look like too extra because it's reds and reds are very dramatic for my personal taste so now i'm gonna go in with the second shade you guys can see it right here and i'm gonna be applying this on my lower lash right here as well right on top of the other shade you do not want to go past where you apply the other shade though like don't go any lower or it's gonna look messy and we're just gonna be blending this side to side and then after that finally we're gonna grab the third brush which was the third color that we used over here and then tap off the excess powder and we're gonna go ahead and blend this out side to side as well and then you guys decide if you guys want eyeliner like on your waterline i am gonna be applying some on mine because i've personally been feeling it a lot lately and i like to use it so that's it for now let me do my eyeliner real quick okay you guys so for my eyeliner i like to use the morphe gel liner it is the darkest of the darkest that i have ever used make sure you guys use a clean eyeliner brush because it comes out the smoothest and the best um i personally hate when the brush is already dirty and sometimes you're in a hurry and you're just like oh let me just like grab some and it'll soften up and then just put it on i hate doing that i used to do that guilty of it but now no every time i'm gonna use this i make sure i have a little rag right next to me just to clean it up and actually um be able to use it um while it's clean because it's softer and the eyeliner just comes off a lot smoother you know like it's it's harder to mess up when you do that versus when it's dirty if that makes sense um but i used to do that all the time like when i would get lazy to clean my brushes I'm guilty of it. I'd be like, you know what? I'm still going to use the eye. It's just eyeliner. <laughs> like, I'm not mixing any colors, but it still looks all clumpy and weird, and I don't like it. All right, so I'm going to grab some of the eyeliner with this little brush, and we're also going to be going over this eyeliner with another one, so don't go anywhere. Don't click out of the video. I'm going to show you guys a good trick when you want the darkest of the darkest eyeliner. All right, so I already got my little brush right here. This is also by Morphe. And I believe this is one of their um, collections. I think it was called Sweet Oasis or something. You guys can look it up. You guys can see the colors. It's pink and blue. I don't think you can mess up while looking for those colors. <laughs> it's the only collection that they have that has these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my eyeliner. Um, pray for me that I don't mess up. <laughs> Here we go, you guys. I like to start on the outer corner and then just drag it upwards to create my wing. And then just go down this way, if you guys know what I mean. Just watch. All right, you see how I just created that little line? So what we're going to do is grab a little bit of more eyeliner and I'm going to be making, well, drawing my wing. <laughs> drawing my wing, that sounds so funny. <laughs> I'm going to be drawing my wing first before I shade it in, okay? So next I'm going to go over here, not all the way to the top where that line is at, but like kind of like midways. And I'm going to drag it down this way, okay guys? I almost poked my eye. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, you see you guys, that is how I like to draw my wings. Bear with me though, I know it looks a little crazy right now. I know the red looks a little crazy, but trust the process you guys. You already know on all of my YouTube videos, if you guys watch them, you guys already know you have to trust the process. At first it can look like a mess, but it can turn out super bomb at the end. Trust me. I'm the queen of messing makeup up. <laughs> you know what I used to hate when I used to do my eyeshadow? I used to hate when I used to do my eyeshadow. And this goes for everybody listening. Um, and then the last thing was like, damn it. Like, it's eyeliner time. And you already knew. Girl, you already knew you might be messing this up. So don't get mad if you mess up your line with your eyeliner. And there were times when I was so frustrated because I would mess up my whole my whole eyeshadow because of my eyeliner you guys and i just wouldn't even want to go out because i'd be pissed like literally pissed and then be like oh i can't fix it but now since i got so used to my eye shape and everything else and making videos i feel like there's no messing up anymore <laughs> or at least i haven't caught myself messing up anymore like i used to a lot before 
All right, so now you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little spongy that I have right here from my foundation just to make it easier for me. And I'm gonna pull a little bit right here because I want the thinnest line towards the inner corner of my eye because I'm gonna create like a wing, like a wing type of look, like um, like a thin one, you know, like I kind of want like hat eyes. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna pull this back a little bit just to not mess up our foundation. And we're gonna start doing our eyeliner inwards. And at first, it does look a little crazy. You got, you have to get the hang of it, you guys. Like, um, when you do your makeup, it's a whole process. I learned that trying and trying and making mistakes and just by by doing so many crazy things till I got it right. So for those of you guys that are trying to do makeup, makeup videos, or just makeup for yourself for your own personal use, um, don't stop. Don't give up. Keep going. <laughs> It'll get better. Trust me. <laughs> It'll eventually get better. Okay guys, now with this eyeliner, what's going to create that little cat eye effect is I'm going to be doing a sharp little teeny tiny wing over here in the inner corner. And you got to be careful when you do this, you guys, because sometimes they come out uneven with the other eye. I hate when that happens. Just be careful. Make sure you guys grab your brush and grab as little product as possible just so that you do not... um have like big chunks of eyeliner on your brush and mess it up so i'm gonna take like a small little mirror you guys can use whichever one you guys have i'm using my little mac foundation one and i'm just gonna use this to get like a closer look over here and to be able to do it for you guys okay so just pay attention i like to kind of draw it right where this line ends you guys see the inner corner where my eyeliner ends over here i like to just line up my brush right here all right and it does take some time to get this right you guys because it's hard trust me i've messed this up a million times so after i've created that little line right there we're gonna connect the dots again connect the lines basically <laughs> not dots i'm gonna grab my brush again exactly the way that i did but this way so that we can connect it to our our bottom lash line if that makes sense watch all right you see how that looks like a cat eye do you guys see it <laughs> So that is how I do my wing. And then also, if you guys want to do your eyeliner on your lower lash line, you guys can. That is what I like to do when I do my eyeliner. Might as well just complete the look right there. Um, let me look for my eyeliner. Um, where's my eyeliner, you guys? Oh my god. Okay, so for my lower lash eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the wet and wild eyeliner. And this is just for my waterline, you guys. I am gonna take another um, the spongy one more time and I'm gonna pull my skin down a little bit and just simply start applying this on my waterline and just make sure you guys keep it at the top do not go downwards to where your eyeshadow is at just keep it on top so that it gives you that like cat eye effect there we go you guys see that see how it makes your eye kind of like oops. And this one's kind of like <laughs> all googly and round. Um, anyways, now I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to keep this eyeliner from smearing. Because eyeliner always smears, you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to keep it from smearing and how to look darker as well. I'm going to be using the Matte Liquid Eyeliner, which is waterproof by Italia Deluxe. Which is one of my favorite brands. And I'm almost out of it, as you guys can see. Um, I'm going to be going over my eyeliner with this one. Only so that it is, um, it is like setting the other eyeliner. I'm just going to set the other eyeliner with this one. And it's going to help you so it doesn't smear because the liquid just dries up. Like it really, really dries up. And you don't have to like trace the whole wing. Just like the big areas that can smear. Like up here because you don't want the eyeliner touching your lid when it smears. And then have black marks at the top, right? And then right here on the inner area because your eyes tend to get watery sometimes. Or at least mine do. And it tries to smear downwards. Well, this will stop it from smearing. So that's why I'm showing you guys this trick, okay? Alright, now after I went over that, I'm just going to go over that little inner corner. Just so that, like I said, it doesn't smear. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to apply some mascara. I've been in love for like forever with the Anastasia one. Um, I don't know the name of the actual mascara. Oh, yeah, I do. It's called Lash Brag. I don't know if they still make it, do they? I have no idea. But this is my favorite one. And I'm just simply going to like put on some mascara on the top lashes. And you guys, it doesn't matter how small your lashes are at the bottom. Make sure you do the bottom lashes as well. They're noticeable, trust me. They're noticeable. 
All right, so after I did the top, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom ones. And mine are teeny tiny, so I'm literally just gonna apply like a little bit because <laughs> there's no point of putting too, too much because they're not even visible, you guys. They're, they're, they just sit there. All right, for those of you guys that don't know, I do have my own lash brand. It is called Mrs. Emily Paints Cosmetics. Um, if you guys do want to get your own lashes, the link is in the description. If you guys want to go directly to my website and get yours, right now I'm going to be using the Adi lashes, you guys. The Adi lashes, they're very, very, very dramatic. Um, I already have them outside of the box right here because I was previously using them. They're very dramatic, but they're so bomb and they're long check it out you guys if you guys want some like i said the link is in my description and i'm gonna be using my favorite glue you guys already know my youtube fam knows and tiktok that my favorite glue is the duo glue so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some of that on my eyelash and make sure i get a decent amount and you do not want to apply your eyelash you guys until the glue starts turning like a dark like a neon blue and the reason why is because it's tacky already and it's ready to stick so make sure you guys wait and you don't put it on when it's just freshly on there or it's gonna like not stick <laughs> you know like it's kind of like gonna smear around and your eyelash isn't gonna stay in place so let it dry a little bit until the eyelash glue is like a little bit like you guys you guys see that how it's like neon blue until it looks like neon blue then then you put it on your eye not on your eye <laughs> on your eyelid <laughs> all right here we go you guys okay and there we have a pretty lash this is called the Adi lashes if you guys want to get them like I said the link is in the description um, they retail for $15 because these are long and dramatic and full and they can last you from five to seven months if you take care of them of course um, they are a very 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 successful lash on my website so go ahead and get yours um, okay guys now I'm gonna be doing my blush I did want to do bronzer but the blush I figured would look better with this color on my lid so I'm gonna go ahead and take a Morphe by Jaclyn Hill brush and I'm gonna start applying my blush I'm only gonna be putting a little bit you guys and just blending this in like little circular motions we do not want it to be that bright um it is a little bright <laughs> It's because, you guys, I've been going to, like, the beach and the lakes and everything. And I feel like um, I'm way more tan than I used to be. So, these colors are just not it for me right now during the summer. <laughs> Anyways, um, this blush is the Napolitan Bar from... What is it called? Beauty Bakery, you guys. And I've been using this for a long time. As you guys can see, I already hit the pan with the bronzer. But I really, really love this blush, you guys. It's it's really nice and very um, bright pink. It looks good if your skin is kind of dark like mine, because mine is a little bit dark. Um, but I don't like how it's looking right now, because I'm a little dark from going to the lake, and it's looking a little too bright on my face. <laughs> it's okay, though. We'll change it up. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye, and I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. If you're part of my TikTok fam or if you're part of my Instagram fam, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know. Okay, you guys, since this is the end of the video already, I'm going to be giving some of my TikTok fam a big shout out. I'm just waiting for them to arrive because I'm currently on the live stream right now as I'm speaking to you guys. So I'm just going to wait for some of you guys to arrive so that I can go ahead and shout you guys out. Okay, you guys, so I want to give a big shout out to who do we have here? We have Donna, we have Samantha, we have Destiny, Amelia. You guys, these are my TikTok fam. Um, I want to give a special shout out though to Samantha up in here because Samantha has purchased every single product on my website. So a big shout out to her. Big shout out to Kayla, Marissa, all of you guys. Um, I know you guys are probably going to end up watching my YouTube video just to watch your shout out. <laughs> but um, there's a reason why I wanted to do this at the end of the video. So that those of you guys that are the real ones, you're going to stay all the way through. And you're going to watch this right now. So if you're a real one and you watched a full YouTube video, make sure you guys comment down below. And comment TikTok fam. Comment TikTok fam so I know that you guys are real ones. 
and shout out to Emily as well another Emily by the way not myself that would be weird <laughs> shout out to Emily because she always comes on my live streams as well and I adore all these people that come onto my lives and they take their time out of their day to watch me and my craziness and my chaotic life sometimes but yeah shout out to all of you guys um I will see you guys in my next video okay bye